Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects CC 2018 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you null object parenting. Null object parenting, actually. <laughs> Let me pronounce my words correctly. And I'm going to show you how to do it in 2D and in 3D. That's right, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, if you're following along with me, just note that I've just created a new composition by going new composition. And then I created three little shape layers. And they're just standard little shape layers. There's nothing to it. So if you want to work along with me, Fire away, just boost up, it'll take you 10 seconds. Now, the next step is for null parenting is generally you want to go to layer, drop down new, and then add in a null object. Now, this alone does nothing, as you can see here. It just adds in, well, it looks like a rectangle, but really it's nothing. It's just information, but we haven't done anything to it. So the next step, if you want to actually uh, parent these things to the null, I recommend selecting the layers. If you have one layer, three layer, whatever you got going on, click on this pick whip, it's called. If you don't see this, the next step for you then is to go hover over the top of the columns, right click, and make sure that a check mark is beside the word parent. When you do that, you will see this pop open. I will now select all of the layers, and I am going to pick whip and I am going to put that on top of null one, so to make sure that it's clicked there. Perfect. You'll also see under parent that null one, null one, null one. That shows you that we've parented correctly. If it was only that easy, right, people? Um, Curtis is a good parent, what can I say? All right, the next step then is to go to your null, and we're gonna go ahead and start making some adjustments to it. Now, I'm just gonna drop down the transform here, and boom, you're gonna see some position scale standard stuff, I'm just going to work on position and scale just to show you what it, what it looks like. Um, and okay, I'm going to hold those two. I'm going to make sure that the timeline is at zero for this situation. And I'm going to left click on them both. Now at zero seconds, nothing has happened. Now at two seconds, let's now let's yeah, let's do one second maybe. I'm just going to change the position. I'm going to make it a little bit, I'm going to scale it down a little bit. I'm going to make it a little smaller as you can see. And you're also going to see that it's working on all the layers. That tells you that the pick whip or that the parenting is in fact working. And I'm going to change the position. Let's move it up a little bit higher. Why not? There we go. And that barking noise is my puppy dog. So there you go. So there we go. That is the first step. And that's the easiest way to go ahead and just do a real quick uh, parenting job <laughs> uh, inside of After Effects. I'll hit spacebar just to show you what it looks like. Boom, done. Now the reason why you'd want to do something like this is because if you've got multiple shape layers or you've got layers all over the place and you want them all to do the same thing, rather than going in and individually, you know, fixing each one up or, you know, shift clicking and things like that and then changing all the positions, just having a null, much, much easier. That out of the way, let's show you how to 3D null. This is the better one. We're gonna make a, uh, we're gonna parent these three shape layers to a null, but it's gonna be 3D and it's gonna look cool. So let's go ahead and delete null one. I'm deleting it because I just wanna show you how to do it right from scratch. I'm gonna go to layer new, create a null. There we go, null object, boom, perfect. The next step, and this is a very, very important one because it can be very frustrating for newer people if you don't know this step or you don't follow this step, is you wanna right click on the columns and you want to make sure that switches is available and you see it. The reason why is because there is a 3D layer button right here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And I'm going to drag and drop it on all of the layers that I want to work in 3D. And that includes the null layer. And I'm going to rename that. What the hell? I'm going to call that 3D null just for kicks. So you guys know what the hell I'm doing here. So, okay. So we've created a 3D null. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick whip all three of these layers and I'm going to make sure that it is now attached to the 3D null. Perfect. Now we're going to work on the null and only the null layer. So let's drop that down. I'm going to show you some of the transform options. When I open this up you're going to see a few things. In particular you're going to see that there's a Z rotation and that the position is not you know XY it's now XYZ scale same thing xyz kind of stuff going on here guys you can actually make a lot more changes to it inside 3d space let me show you at the beginning here i'm going to just i'm gonna i'm gonna make a change to the scale and let's see if that does anything yeah it's not too much so let's skip scale i'm going to show you the orientation stuff so i'm going to pick i'm going to actually right click and left click pardon me on orientation x y and z rotation now watch this nope wrong one 
If you see what I'm doing here, I'm just changing the orientation, but I am actually now working in 3D space. So if I was to just command X that, and let's say that zero at the zero second, so at the timeline equals zero, great. When we go forward to one second, I'm going to make some changes to that. This is going to show up in the 3D space like I was showing you. So here we go. I'm going to change the X to well, let's do a let's do a let's do 360. Why not? Right, something like that. Let's do a full one. Let's do a one, and then the Y rotation. Let's see what this one does. Woohoo! Same thing. So we're going to do a quick full rotation, and we're going to put it at one. And the same thing for the Z. Let's see if that does much. It just does dick all, but uh, we're going to do this as a one rotation as well. Now, when we go back to zero, I'm going to go ahead and click off. So I've got the selection tool. I just clicked outside of it, and now I'm going to hit space bar. And then now that these three shape layers are parented by the 3D null, let's hit space bar see what it looks like. Boom. We've got some weird 3D action going on, and that was a little bit too fast. So I'm going to take all of these out, and I'm just going to move them to, say, three seconds, so you can see it a little bit, or four seconds. So you can see it again, so it's a little bit slower. And click outside of it, and let's hit spacebar again, or zero on your number pad if you're on a PC. And there we go, guys. We are moving in 3D space. And more importantly, we did this with a null, so we didn't have to go into each one of these shape layers and change all of the parameters. We did it one time on the null. Guys, that's really all there is to it in terms of... Uh, 3D parenting or null parenting or null object parenting is the correct term. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be back with some more shortly. Thanks for watching.